Hello, this is Larry Camerata of Mindfulness Travels, and I'm here with... And this is Lavinia Planca, and I am a Feldenkrais teacher and one of the co-teachers for Mindfulness Travels. And it's really a delight to have you today to talk about your work, our work. Our work together. Indeed, indeed. So what can you tell us about what you do and what you'd like to present to well, folks? Here, and what I wanted to say was how exciting it is to actually be able to use what I do in conjunction with what Larry does, the, the whole Qigong practice. Because mm -hmm. Feldenkrais, for the people who are not familiar with it, the Feldenkrais method is a way of using very slow meditative movement to improve the quality of your life. Sounds familiar? Very much so. You know, my, my work in, in the context of Tai Chi and Qigong is very much about the slow rhythm, which allows the mind to catch up to the body, to integrate, to create a sense of stability, a sense of relaxation, a sense of softness within the body, but stability. And one of the things that attracts me about your work, at least as I understand it, is that you know, a lot of Feldenkrais work is done lying down. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, you know, the idea in the Feldenkrais approach is that lying down is just like standing up, except mm -hmm. that you're not fight. You know, you're not fighting gravity. And so, when you're not fighting gravity, you have an opportunity to go more deeply into seeing what some of your patterns are, what some of your habits are, and by doing this very slow, careful movement you begin to start to be able to actually reprogram your nervous system so that you can get rid of pain, you can start to breathe better, you can start to feel better. Mm -hmm. And what I like about us doing it together is that after a Feldenkrais lesson, people have an opportunity to get up on their feet and actually mm -hmm. feel how that improves their Qigong practice, their Tai, tai Chi practice, their hiking, yes. whatever it is that we do on our trips. Um, and, and also, so. and also the to me the synergy between the ideas of yeah. you know breathing, mindfulness, mm -hmm. uh, connecting mind, body, and emotions, yes. which is really yes. big in the Feldenkrais work, is another opportunity for us to work together. Absolutely, absolutely. And in my work with mindfulness, I'm really interested in what we might call embodied mindfulness. You know, because mindfulness sometimes, if we just talk about it can become this cognitive process mm -hmm. that is divorced from the body and both your work, my work, is a way of integrating the body so that mindfulness makes sense in a very tangible way. Mm -hmm. Walking, breathing, talking, standing, lying down, all of that is going to be worked with and played with. And I want to mention that play frame because mm -hmm. playfulness I know is important to you, it's important to me as well. And one of the frames that I use and is widely used in Tai Chi and Qigong culture is the idea that we're playing, mm -hmm. which is about exploring in a curious, open way. Mm -hmm. And this idea that you just brought up about mindfulness, which is really interesting because we call our work awareness through movement. And so to yes. me, awareness includes mind, body, emotions all together. It's not Absolutely. just a mental process. Absolutely, absolutely. And perhaps I should say that Qigong, because it sounds like an esoteric word, but the word Qigong breaks down into energy cultivation. So it's a way of moving with awareness and attention, of course, that cultivates vitality. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and what I love about what we do is um, most of the time Larry's work is in the morning, and you set a tone, mm -hmm. a theme, an idea, a possibility, and then we go on our excursions or our hikes, yes. and then when we come back, I kind of sew up the whole theme mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in another way. So yes, yes. It, it wraps up the whole day. Absolutely, it's a wonderful, holistic way of embodying the teachings and delivering it in a way that hopefully makes a difference to people. And you could tell Larry and I have fun together. <laughs> Absolutely.